Yo, what is up guys, it's Retro Giraffe. Welcome back to my channel. Hopefully everyone's doing well. For today's video, I'll be showing you guys a purchase that I made from a friend of mine. He was actually selling his Pokemon collection and it's nothing big, but it still is a good amount for what he was selling me. And uh, when we first initially decided to do this, um, this was back before COVID, so before the whole pandemic and the lockdown hit. So I think we met up around like February and we were just talking prices and everything, just going through the stuff that he had. And we finally came to a deal, but then because of COVID, we were kind of, you know, we stayed home, we didn't really talk as much. And then I think maybe two or three weeks ago, um, he actually came over, um, I guess we met outside and we made a deal there. But Paul, if you're watching this, thank you so much for the, I guess, the great deal. Um, it's definitely going into the collection. I don't think I'm gonna sell these at all. So thanks again. But as you can see right here, we have this Goodfellow & Co. Uh, shoebox and taking the lid off, as you can see from the start, we see, uh, actually let's get into the games first. So we see Pokemon Yellow and Pokemon Red and um, these are the original boxes and the original games. Unfortunately, it does not come with the manual, which is like the little player's guide, but it does come with the game and everything. So I'll definitely be adding these to the collection as you probably seen me do like an unboxing of these on my channel before. So we have red and red and yellow. Next we have a Game Boy. I believe this is a um, purple Game Boy. Plum is a violet, is a purple. I forgot the technical term for it, but we have a Game Boy right here. As you can see, there is a scratch on the screen and it is a little beat up and a little messy. So what I plan on doing with this one is, um, because I have another one of the purple one, I plan on doing a Game Boy mod where I kind of like change out the screen, you know, like the base plate, you know, like the cover and everything and kind of make it my own personal Game Boy. So that will be for a future video. So please stay tuned for that. Next, we have this handy pack color. So um, I guess not everyone had this growing up. You know, everyone had a Game Boy. But then this was a little accessory that I can put on a Game Boy. So let me actually show you guys how it works. So what you gotta do is you gotta slide it in. So from the top, you kind of slide the Game Boy in. And on this little notch, it kind of holds the Game Boy in place. And we plug this little cable into here for the speakers. And then if you open this up, the speakers are right there. It's a little dusty, so don't mind the little dust and grime. But this little screen right here, if you kind of like pop it up, it does magnify the screen itself. And there are lights underneath of it. There are no batteries in it at the moment, but I believe it's run off of... From the size of it, it looks like two triple A's, so that's what powers the light. So instead of a D-pad, it's a joystick, and there's these little pads for the A and B buttons. The start and select are exposed, and the speakers are here as well. But yeah, so we have a handy pack, very useful. Probably will feature this in like a separate video or something. But yeah, so there's that. Next, we're getting into this Game Shark right here, and I guess along with this Game Boy Color manual for the Game Boy, we have the little. I guess Best Buy receipt. You know, as you can see, it was $30. And so if you guys don't know what a Game Shark is, basically it's a way for you to insert cheat codes into your game. So I guess like for Pokemon, it would be like unlimited rare candies, master balls. Um, I guess for shooting games, it would be like unlimited ammo, like your lives and stuff like that. So basically, if you open it up, this is kind of like, you know, what you see. And on the back right there, this is what it looks like. And let me actually show you guys what it looks like. So basically what you do is um, you insert this into the Game Boy. So let me actually bring that Game Boy back. So basically what you do is you put this into the Game Boy and then you insert another game up here and then it should allow you to you know, enter some codes, some cheats for the games so that yeah, you can play it with all the cheat codes you want, you know, with this Game Shark. So that's basically what it was. But yeah, so Game Shark was definitely a way to kind of enhance your gaming experience. As you can see right here, it says video game enhancer. So basically just a way to cheat. But yeah, so very cool that he included this as well. Also, I don't know if you guys remember this, but it is the Burger King um, Pokeball, I guess, gold card, I guess. It is a bit yellowed on the bottom, but only on like this little side right here. But if we open it up, we have Oh no, the, the stand kind of came off, but we had this Mewtwo. So I believe there's six total, including this Mewtwo. But let me just take this out real quick. So we have the Certificate of Authenticity, number 150, which is Mewtwo. And on the back, you see the Mewtwo right there. It is actually pretty weighty. And on the front, you see Mewtwo and the Pokemon logo at the top. So yeah, um, I remember this, you know, long time ago at Burger King. But I never really got into collecting it because 
I don't know, just never really appealed to me, but he did include this. Also, he included some random cards. So we have some Dragon Ball cards. So we have Goku, Gohan, Tien, Young Gohan, Baby Gohan, uh, Yaji Robo, I believe that's his name, Krillin, um, Farmer with Shotgun. Very nice. And like a separate, I guess, I don't know. Card, but I actually like this one more than these, but yeah, so Annie Mayhem, I guess, is the creator of these cards, so very interesting. Also has some Yu-Gi-Oh cards, don't know what set this is from, but we have some Yu-Gi-Oh cards right here. Dark Hole is pretty iconic, Battle Ox, Mammoth Graveyard, Celtic Guardian, all these like remind me of like the original Yu-Gi-Oh cartoon, anime, whatever you want to call it, Curse of the Dragon. Gaia the Fierce Knight, Monster Reborn, so very uh, iconic Yu-Gi-Oh cards right there. Also have some link cables, if you guys don't know, before the wireless era, we had to actually use wires to trade, you know, between Game Boys, so very cool that he included these two. And this is what I personally care about the most, so let me actually move everything aside. And before we open it up, if you guys remember these uh, pencil cases, I actually had a... What color did I have? Did I have a green one or a blue one? I did have the same exact one, so um, super throwback to, you know, like my middle school, elementary school days. But it has a little Chansey sticker, and if we open it up, it has some Pokemon cards. So um, I believe these cards are some energies, um, I don't know. So these are some unlimited energies. Um, based on the dates on the bottom. We have a bunch, a bunch of penny sleeves, so very nice. And I guess we'll start from the left and go onward. These are some shadowless energies. So let me actually compare the energies, how you can tell if it is shadowless or not. I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see it through this camera, but if you guys look at the dates, so it says 1995, 96, 98 for the top one, but on the bottom one, it does include the 99 date. And that one indicates that it is a shadowless card. So that's a clear distinction between shadowless and non-shadowless. But yeah, so starting off with, let me actually start off with the very first Pokemon card. And you actually had a bunch, a bunch of shadowless cards. So we're gonna get into that right now. So I did, you know, go through this roughly just to kind of organize everything. So let's start off with the Shadowless cards first. And we are starting with a Charmeleon. So there is no shadow on this little border right here. So we have a few Charmeleons, a Dratini, Farfetch'd, Growlithe, Haunter, Ivysaur, very nice, Jinx, Kakuna, Machoke. Hopefully you guys looking at these cards, you know, brings back some nostalgia for you back when you guys used to collect these or, you know, got into Pokemon. So Magmar, Nidorino, Poliwhirl, Oregon Radicate, Abra getting to the commons now. We have a few Bulbasaurs, Charmander, Diglett, a Doduo, Drowsy, Ghastly, Coughing, Magnemite, Metapod, Nidoran, Onyx, Pidgey, a few Poliwags, Ponyta, Rattata, Sandshrew, Squirtle, Starmie. All of these are Shadowless. Star U, Vulpix, Weedle, and then we're getting to the energies, not the energies, the trainers. So we have a computer search, getting to the de-evolution spray. Some of these are kind of, you know, a little dirty, a little banged up, but still, I would definitely add it to the collection. Most of these are going in binders, so it doesn't really matter. We have a scoop up, energy uh, retrieval, maintenance, a Pokédex. All of these have the 99 date on the bottom, which indicates that they are shadowless. Professor Oak, Revive, Super Potion, what else we got? We got Bill, Classic Bill, Energy Removal, Gust of Wind, Potion, and I think a Switch to end it off. So all those cards are Shadowless, including all of these energies. All of these energies are Shadowless as well. Moving on next to, if I can separate it, Moving on to Unlimited, so we have a Dragonair to start off, very iconic artwork um, done by Mitsuhiro Arita, such a nice artwork, like the Aurora lights in the back, Dragonair just chilling in the water, such an iconic artwork, Arcanine, and going through the cards again, I'll just go through it very briefly, but yeah, a lot of cards that he had, a lot of bulk, 
And for me, I said this in the previous videos, I don't know which video you guys are going to see first, but I love, you know, old Watsi Vault because it's just, like, this is like the very first set. So this is just so iconic to everyone, you know, so much nostalgia is within these cards. So for me to have a bunch of these, um, probably in the future I'll like make sets of these and probably sell it, but then as of now, I just love having the, the bulk. And now we're getting into the trainers. So we have, again, computer research. We have a professor, imposter, sorry, imposter Professor Oak. Item finder, we have a lass, breeder, super energy removal, retrieval, full heal, plus power, super potion, bill again, removal, gust of wind, potion, and a switch trainer. So that ends off base set, both shadowless and unlimited. Now let's get into some jungle cards. So we have, I believe this is our only first edition jungle, but we have a Jigglypuff. And now we're getting into the unlimited. So we have a Mr. Mime, Venomoth, Non-Hollow, Butterfreeze, you know. You guys, I'm pretty sure if you guys are familiar with Watsi or if you collect Watsi cards, all of these cards should be very familiar. But we're starting off with like the uncommons. And I'm very happy to have uh, bought this lot because I'm actually gonna use these cards to fill up my binder pages. Uh, make sets of these, you know, for like the uncommons and commons and stuff. But yeah, very happy that I bought this. Very thankful for my friend for giving me such an awesome deal. So Paul, thanks again if you're watching this. A few Oddish, you know, Paris, Pikachus, very iconic, very collectible Pikachus. Rhyhorn, Spearow, and I think we are towards the end. So Venonet and Pokeball to end it off. Before we get into these holographics right here, let me actually show you guys these Team Rocket cards because he has surprisingly a lot and I mean a lot of uh, these Japanese Rocket cards. I don't think these uh, Rocket cards are in any order but let's just start off with some Mankeys, some Glooms, Jolteon, love this artwork, Drowsy, what else we got, Persian, Magikarp, Coughing. I love the art style in um, Team Rocket because it's just I don't know, so different from like the usual like base, jungle, and fossil sets. Like this Machoke right here. So, so legit. I'm a big fan. Rattata, Voltorb, Electrode, Rapidash, Ward Portal, Flareon, Slowpoke, just chilling in the river. We have a Muck, Dratini, we have a Meowth, um, I believe this is Sleep, a Goop Gas Attack. Challenge, um, the boss's way, super potion energy, nightly garbage run, imposter Professor Oak's revenge. I think we have an Ekin, Zubat, Eevee, Golduck, such a nice artwork. We have a Chop, what else we got? Oddish, um, Porygon, and the box, Primeape, such a nice artwork and Charmander to end it off. And now we're getting into Fossil, and surprisingly all these Fossil cards are 1st Edition, and I actually only have 1st Edition Fossil cards. Um, I don't have any Unlimited because I did buy, believe it or not, a lot of, I'm gonna say 12 or 13 um, 1st Edition Fossil packs for like, I think it was like $90. This was back in like early high school. I would say like when I was in like 9th, 10th grade when like Pokemon wasn't cool. Like I was like a closet Pokemon collector. I low key wish I would have bought more then, but times have changed. But yeah, so we have the Arbok. All these are first edition by that stamp right there. So first edition stamp. All these have it. Magmar, Omastar. Just going through these very briefly. But yeah, all these have that first edition stamp on the bottom. And now we're getting into the unlimited fossil cards. So we have a Gengar, non hollow Ghastly, Seedra, Energy Search. Not too many of these. So we have a Gambler, Recycle, Mysterious Fossil, and some just random cards. So we have one Japanese uh, Zubat from Fossil, and two Gym cards. I believe it's LT Surge Pikachu and a Spearow. And now with that out the way, let's actually get into these cards. So these cards are actually pretty legit so let's actually get into it so we're starting off with you know a Mew everyone knows this card a Game Boy promo Meowth a promo Arcanine P 
Pikachu with the WB stamp, Mewtwo with that stamp, Dragonite with the stamp, Promo Entei from the movie. We have three of those. We have two, count them, two. And now, with the addition of two, count them, two. Pikachu, Red Cheek, um, Shadowless cards. So, very nice to add these to the collection. Um, definitely gonna be great in the binder. We have some first edition base set as well. So we have a first edition plus power, first edition uh, Pokemon Breeder, first edition Magikarp, first edition Volpix, some more there. First edition Poliwag, two of these, or three. First edition Poliwhirl, and first edition Poliwrath. So unfortunately, Poliwrath is like the least popular, the least, um, I guess, desirable in terms of like the first edition uh, base set cards. But still, it is a first edition, so very cool to have. And now we're getting into one Shadowless card, which is this Gyarados. This is the only Shadowless card that he had. But still, it is a hollow, and like the colors from the Shadowless to like the Unlimited, it's so different. And personally for me, I'm a big fan of the Shadowless colors more than the Unlimited. But yeah, so we have the Gyarados. And now we're getting into the classic trio. So we have Blastoise, Venusaur, and we have a Charizard, so he included these as well. I basically just bought everything from him. So these cards, I was very happy to get. I got them for a great deal. It's not in the best condition, but these are perfect for binders. So definitely going to go into binders and stay there for a very long time. We have a Raichu. We have a Moltres from Fossil. We have a Mewtwo from Base Set. Vaporeon from Jungle. Jolteon, very nice card from Jungle. Flareon got the three evolutions. Hitmon Lee, Hitmon Chan, and last but not least, we have the card that everyone and their dog has the first edition Machamp promo card. And this one is a little beat up on the back right there. But yeah, but these are the cards that I got from him, um, along with, you know, like the Game Boy and the Pokemon games. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'll be filling out my binder with all these cards and making complete sets. And yeah, I'm very excited to, I guess, um, redo my binders and, you know, change up my collection. But hopefully this video was interesting, hopefully this video appealed to you guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys like this video, then please give this video a thumbs up, it really helps out the channel a lot. Also, if you want more content like this, then please subscribe and also turn on the bell notifications for future videos. But yeah, um, hopefully this um, video was a trip down memory lane, hopefully um, there was some nostalgia for you guys looking at these cards. Just remembering, if you maybe if you have these cards, um, maybe like look in your attic, look in your garage to see if you still have them. But yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching, and as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.